What's up guys, uh, I'm Chad George, Pedro Munoz. We're gonna show a couple techniques on ways to hit standing uh, strangle attacks, anacondas and darses. Um, one of the ones I like to use a lot is from the standing arm drag. A lot of ways to really hit this. Uh, for me, I like to be in a very strong wrestling stance when I'm in position. So when we're hand fighting, boom, boom, boom. This one I get the inside grab. I like to grab the elbow and I keep connected with my head. Boom, dragging here. I'm gonna pull the head in. And I'm gonna run through it first and then I'm gonna do a little breakdown. I'm inside. Boom. Okay, so the breakdown for what I'm doing. I'm keeping my hands controlled. I want to make sure that he can't get grips. So once I get his two on uh, both hands controlled, I like to go to the elbow. And as I pull this, I step in. But as I step, my head is going to stay connected. I always want to be connected to reduce the space. As I drag, I'm going to pull the head into his shoulder, bring my head above, shooting my arm underneath. Now. Uh, stay up for me. A lot of times I see guys where they, they elevate it this way. Mm. What that's doing is it's going to separate the space between his head and, um, and my strangle. I'm actually going to sit into it. I want to bring the choke to the floor so that way I'm condensing the space between his neck and his, uh, and his, chin, and his chest. A lot of my strangles, I like to have the chin roll underneath. That way, so just the same with any strangle, we need a rotation in the neck. You okay? So I'm here. Boom. Instead of me elevating it, I need to rotate the neck. So by keeping this tight, I rotate the neck underneath. So it's a very simple adjustment for that. Now, let's say, number two, I come in here, but then he, he counters the space, and he changes, and he shoots in on me. Boom, I'm gonna sprawl. But the arm's still gonna be here. So now I'm gonna come underneath, keeping this lat with this side. I'm gonna pull through right here. This is gonna allow me to keep that neck here bite the neck. Now, again, I can walk in this way, but I still want to make sure I maintain the rotation in the neck. So the way I'm going to do that is make sure that there's no space between me and him. I'm where, where this gap is here, I'm going to put my head in. That's going to allow me to start rotating as my hips come in. You can see the rotation in the neck. Boom. Boom. So I'm here, lock this, and now when my hips rotate, boom, okay? So then it becomes <laughs> here, I hit the drag, boom. But he counters, he turns, he shoots his leg, boom. I'm sprawling hard. I need to make sure that his head and his arms stay on the floor. That way, so this, this hand, as I back step through, I'm pulling him to me. I don't want to go to my back. If I go to my back, he's going to spin around. Mm. I want to make sure that I maintain my weight on his shoulder here. Yeah, even though I want to take my arm out, it doesn't go correct. So if I'm here, but as soon as I do this, he's on top of me and he has many attacks from me. So when I hit the spin, I pull it, but I'm here, making sure that, that can't get out. This locks my head, is gonna reduce the space here, and I can rotate those hips in as I, as I apply the strangle. So going back to the, uh, the first one, I'm here, hand fighting controls, I'm staying tight here. Boom, punchy. Pulling this in. I want this blade coming right across the carotid part of the neck. Shooting, sitting in, okay? Now, to make this a chaining drill, he starts bridging his head up, and he loses this, he shoots into his left shot, boom, I can sprawl. I'm gonna turn, boom. Lock this, and coming back up. So it's just a really, connective way to, to really chain standing attacks to when they counter to always applying the strangle anytime you get the grips. Beautiful. And make sure you subscribe to oh. Bring BJJ Online YouTube there you go. channel. <laughs> <laughs> make sure to go uh, check out more videos on Cobrini Online and on the YouTube channel. Amazing stuff.